Okay, today we will have our last performance tasks, number six. No? And uh, we are going to count no? the number of days for this last performance tasks. Uh, maybe now we started on May 6. And we are given, you are given no? at least uh, around 12 days to complete it. No? And uh, we know uh that whenever now we have uh, this title so if you recall your physics one that you are going to make na, a uh, a presentation based on some topics and uh, the topics now uh, we write it down in a template but of course since this is a video there's no submission of a template just like a lab activity so, but anyway, now we call the last performance task number six, no? As do you know that? No? So you are going to present uh, a certain and explain no, a certain topic. Now, among the things that uh, are in line, no? so you'll be seeing some slides here that are basically no, the things that may uh, be included no, in the sets of topics. So you have here your Kirchhoff's loss, which are basically you know, divided into two. You know? So Kirchhoff's laws may be called uh, uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law, or sometimes they abbreviate that you know, to KVL, you know, Kirchhoff's voltage law. And then the other one you know, is the Kirchhoff's current law, which is uh, sometimes they call it as KCL. So this is the first one, which you can choose, you know, but it depends on uh, the preference of your group. Now, uh, another topic could be you know, our Biot Sabart law or the Ampers law. So, you may probably tell something no, uh, about this law. And uh, what makes this important or relevant to us uh, could be included part of the activity no, or the recording or the presentation that you will prepare. No? So, the Ampers law as well. Sometimes they call it as the Ampers circuital law. No? But uh, shorter than that now will be your Ampers, Ampere's law. No? Now uh, we've taken this and uh, this is the Faraday's law of induction. And probably the Lenz law. No? So if you wish to uh, expound more on this, no? so you can also tackle this one. No? But again, no? this is uh, these two laws are combined in only one single presentation. Now, again, now the other component of that is the Lenz law. So you may also tackle this. And likewise, no, uh, two types of circuits. This is your RC circuit. No? Usually we call it as RC, the resistor capacitor circuit. By the way, the word CKT there no, refers to a word circuit no, in shorter or in uh, abbreviated form. No? Now, another one is the RL circuit. Now, usually we refer to the inductor as L. So this is basically RL. So you have a resistor and an inductor on one end. No? So sometimes they call this the RL. The other circuit is called as the RC circuit, no? which contains your resistor and capacitor. Now, you can, again, no? you can... Uh, you can present this no? and uh, maybe you know, include some of its significance or importance as well to us or to a specific circuit. No? Another one is the Fleming's right hand and left hand rules. No? So they have their own purposes. They, have their, they serve no? their own purposes. So sometimes they call it as the uh, one used for the motor effect. And then the other one is for the generator. No? So again, you can you can further and advance your your or appreciation of this lesson. Now another one is on mirrors, lenses, and most likely you know, the images that they are taking. Now again, now this is our topic, and what, however, what we will just simply focus on now are simply mirrors. Now, but again, now your appreciation of the topic could. Uh, could uh, allow no, uh, also no, a, a better uh, presentation, including, of course, no, the addition of lenses no, in, the, in the presentation. Now, 
you can also involve some equations that are related to the mirror and equations related to lenses no? and how useful they are no? in determining the images and how the images would probably appear. No? So you could also tackle this one. No? So this is another group of topic. And then we have the theory of special relativity. No? So you may also present this because this is likewise important to... Uh, to us, no, because this is part of uh, physics too, no. But of course, this will take root or take uh, its basis, or uh, it starts out, no, with the idea of the speed of light, no, and how relevant is that speed of light, no, in relation to other things, like uh, maybe not terms like inertial uh, reference, no, inertial frame of reference, will will also not be used here, no as uh, a way of introducing no, the special relativity. So you can, uh, you can handle this. No? And maybe finally, no, nuclear physics. No? So there are particles that are eventually no part of this nuclear physics. So there are even more smaller particles than our neutron, electrons, and protons. No? So... Uh, you may you may start there now, but of course it's not only limited to the particles that are in our nuclear physics no? but even uh, including probably you know the reactions that results you no know, whenever uh, there's uh, an emission of radiation no? from one material no? and the eventual result no? of these uh, rays or radiations no? that are coming out no? of a given no? uh, reaction or a nuclear reaction. So this is the last one that you can choose from. And uh, we will try to check the, the template. No? But of course, as I've said, no, the template is not anymore. No? You are not going, you, you will no longer no, submit back the template. No? Because again, no, the whole activity will be about no, the, the video. No? So you will be recording a video. No? So let's shift first no, to the template that I'm going to share with you as well. Now, basically, no, so again, now we will see the template that we have. Again, this template will not be submitted back, but this is simply no, for your guide. No? So the objective is there, the materials probably is there, what are the things that you will probably need, no? and even more. No? You, can, you can add some other things here, no? uh, which may help no, in your actual presentation. So again, basically... The activity on performance task number six is entitled, Do You Know That? No? With an objective that you are going to show or have no, a presentation. So you will, you will prepare no, a brief presentation of something like at least seven minutes short, but no, maybe no, up to something like 10 minutes only. No? So I think seven to 10 minutes is already a very lengthy uh, video. No? Now, this video, again, will have to be saved, no? will have to be stored in your Google Drive. So either the leader will store the video or any member no, in the group, which has an available, uh, which has an available uh, uh, storage. No? So just make sure that the seven or 10 minute video, no? it's, uh, it's file, no? the, the size of the file is enough for that. Google Drive. No? Now, once you are done with the presentation, you try to upload it there. Share it properly. No? So the word is to share the video properly. So I will not have no difficulty in uh, viewing no, the given video. No? So I've experienced no, uh, in Physics 1 that there are videos that will not uh, play properly. No? So uh, you are... You are ask no, to or, or reminded to properly share the video so there would be a smooth no, uh, viewing of the file. No? So again, now here are the topics. So there are nine topics to choose from. And here are the things that you are no, uh, maybe no, would like to include no, in your presentation. Things or reminder no, in your, in your uh, work. No? So what are the things that are to be included in your uh, video? Of course, no, maybe an introduction first no, of, uh, of the topic. 
uh, explanations or examples that are related to the concept that you are trying to present. And lastly, now maybe, uh, or finally, now, the significance or the practical use, importance of the concept, now, or the principle to us, now, uh, maybe now, an ordinary person. So you may find now, the relevance or importance of that concept to us. And finally, again, no files or no submission will be sent through emails. No, no submission will be will be forwarded or saved in YouTube. No? Uh, and uh, again, no, the suggestion or the recommendation is for you to save your file in Google Drive. Now, share the link properly. So uh, when I check your work, no, it will be smooth and easy for me to open the given file. No? So I will no longer be asking questions of permission, granting me. No, uh, permission. Now, lastly, uh, the rubrics of the uh, grading of your work no, uh, is divided into this one. So there are five components wherein your activity will be graded with a total points of 80 points. So you may go over this one and then leader no, for your group will have to lead you, no, initiate no, the the grouping since you all have no all of you have a zoom uh, account no so your your zoom accounts are licensed so all that you'll have to do is to activate that no so your leader can gather you no in one session so for this day no uh, i i uh, would uh, encourage no that you will start working discussing what are the things that you are supposed to do? No, divide the tasks. No, so the leader can uh, uh, give assignments no? to the members of the group. So for today, now God bless and uh, work well now with your activity. And again, no? don't forget about the set deadline. No, twelve days after Friday. No, May six. So that will be on the eighteenth of May. No, so God bless everyone no? on your work.